What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 i s a t News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hey there, and welcome to News Bites. I'm Trevor Tortomasi, and I'm Paz Bueno. In today's news, treasure becomes trash. A barefoot man makes money, and things to know in the summer heat. Stay tuned for those stories coming up next. Top of Taiwan, 装满现金的纸袋失而复得 Big bag of money gets thrown away. What should you do if you accidentally throw a large amount of money into the trash? 万一不小心把大笔现款给扔了，该怎么办 ？Imagine this: you have over eighty thousand NT in cash, 现金 and you want to deposit it in the bank, 存进银行 in the morning. You can't find anywhere to keep the money safe, so you put it in a paper bag, 纸袋 But when the garbage truck, 垃圾车 drives by your house, your family throws the paper bag away. This might seem like a scene from a movie, 电影片段 but it's actually what happened to a family in Shinzhou last month. The Shinzhou Bureau of Environmental Protection, 新竹环保局 received a phone call one day saying that an elderly member of the family. 家里的长辈 accidentally threw away a paper bag with eighty thousand NT inside. They quickly called the garbage truck workers, who then told the family to go to the landfill, 掩埋场 as soon as possible. Luckily, after one hour of searching, 寻找 the family found their paper bag with the money. The garbage truck crew later explained, 解释 that if someone accidentally throws away something important, they can most likely still recover it, 寻获 in the first hour. But after one hour has passed, the garbage truck may have already arrived at the incinerator, 焚化炉 So remember, always keep your valuables in a safe place. And if they ever get thrown away, you'd better hurry up. Going global. 赤脚英国男子获得捐款 UK man makes money being barefoot. Would you ever leave your house and go out into the public without any shoes on? 你会赤着脚走到公共场所吗 Nowadays, shoes are not just a necessity. Be sure you repeat. Some people mix and match shoes with different outfits, 服装 and some people even wear shoes to show off their wealth. So, can you imagine living without shoes for a month? Well, believe it or not, this is exactly what one man in the UK did. George, a twenty-year-old man from Cambridge, England, got rid of his shoes in October of 2021. He was originally a religious shoe wearer, 鞋子狂热分子 wearing shoes both indoors and outdoors. One day, he suddenly started to question why he needed shoes and searched online, 网络上寻找 for an answer. But instead, he found the many benefits, 好处 of not wearing shoes. And from that moment on, he decided he was never going to wear shoes again. After that, many people on the streets looked at him with disdain, 厌恶的表情 and store workers wouldn't let him inside. But George said he felt happier than he had ever been before, and shared his experiences on social media. Since then, millions of people have seen his videos, and his fans, 粉丝 have even sent him money to support his barefoot lifestyle. Now George is optimistic, 乐观 about the future, saying that it's only a matter of time before he makes more money. But if you're going to go somewhere without shoes, just remember to watch where you walk. Today's feature: 什么会让各国人民觉得幸福 What makes people happy in different countries? There's no doubt that this summer has been one of the hottest in history. 
今年夏天的炎热程度应该是史上最热的暑假之一。There has been lots of research that strongly suggests the weather affects our moods and emotions. A lot of people think that hot and humid weather makes a person cranky, 暴躁易怒 and that cold, dark winters can easily make a person depressed, 忧郁 And results from one study show that people who live in places where the average monthly temperature is around 18 degrees Celsius are usually the happiest. But does this mean people who live in countries near the equator, 赤道 or in very cold countries, are never happy? Of course not. So, what makes people happy to live in a country? According to research by the World Value Survey, 世界价值观调查 the level of people's happiness in a country comes mainly from three things. Those three things are strong economic development, 蓬勃的经济 democracy. 民主化 and inclusiveness, 包容度 Researchers say that together, these three things help people to feel free. So the next time you are feeling moody or cranky about the weather, think about these things before you wish you lived in a different country. The recap. So in today's news bites. One man in Shinju accidentally threw away a paper bag with eighty thousand NT inside. His family quickly called the garbage truck workers, who then told the family to go to the landfill as soon as possible. Workers say if you ever accidentally throw something important in the trash, you may have about one hour before it's gone forever. And one man in England got rid of his shoes in October of 2021. Now he says he feels happier than ever before and has shared his experiences on social media. Since then, millions of people have seen his videos, and his fans have even sent him money to support his barefoot lifestyle. And researchers say the level of people's happiness in a country comes mainly from three things. Those three things are strong economic development, democracy, and inclusiveness. They say that together, these three things help people to feel free. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about coming back to school. We're heading into a whole new year of school. Maybe it was a little bit hard to get up early in the morning at first. But now that you've been back for a while, you're getting used to the change in your daily routine again. So, what have you enjoyed the most about coming back to school so far? Record your message and send it to newsbites, n e w s b i t e s at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age, and if you'd like, the name of your school. Make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民集学前教育署，下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K-12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.